Okay, so this is Tomonori, uh, your instructor for Japanese class. Uh, today we're gonna talk about te itadakemasen ka. So uh, before we do, uh, I, I need to start with the review of te kudasai. So in a way, uh, te itadakemasen ka and te kudasai mean the same thing. Uh, in terms of meaning, uh, they both indicate request. So if you say, Mado o akete kudasai, Mado o akete kudasai, which means please open the door, open the window. Please open the window. Shukudai o oshiete kudasai, Shukudai o oshiete kudasai, please teach homework. Shashin o totte kudasai. Shashin o totte kudasai. Please take a picture. So, te kudasai is the same as please in English. Um, te itadakemasen ka means also please. So, you could have said that mado o akete itadakemasen ka? Shukudai o oshiete itadakemasen ka? Shashin o totte itadakemasen ka? So in terms of the meaning, they both mean please. Okay. Uh, so what's the difference? So the difference is just the, the politeness and also um, the level of the social status. Um, so we briefly talked about the uh, in Japanese language, we always make uh, uh, unconscious judgment about the social distance uh, from you to the others, uh, interrupters. And this is uh, uh, what's happening here as well. Okay. Uh, so we're going to introduce three different forms. The first one is te itadakemasen ka? Te itadakemasen ka? Second one is te kuremasen ka? Te kuremasen ka? And last one is te kurenai? Te kurenai? And all of them, as I said, mean please. Okay, so in terms of the meanings, they mean exactly the same thing. So what is difference? The difference is the politeness especially in terms of the social status. If the speaker, uh, if the listener has a higher social status than the speaker, we use te itadakemasen ka. If the listener and the speaker has more or less the so equal social status, we use kuremasen ka. And if the listener has a lower status, we use kurenai. So in a way, this is the most polite. And this is the least polite. Okay. Um, watashi ni kohi wo tsukutte itadakemasen ka? Watashi ni kohi wo tsukutte kuremasen ka? Watashi ni kohi wo tsukutte kurenai. So all of them means exactly the same. Please make coffee for me. But what we can tell from the, these three different request expressions is most likely this number four, you are probably speaking to someone who has a higher status. Uh, let's say you're talking, asking a teacher. Ah. Um, or uh, maybe you're trying to be polite, right? Like if you're in the uh, uh, public space and if you're going to make a request, you're going to make a polite request even though uh, you're speaking with someone uh, more or less the same status. So this is the most polite expressions. Tsukutte kuremasen ka is probably your friend. And tsukutte kurenai is a probably a close friend. Okay. 
So this is the least polite. Okay. Um, so what we're gonna do is let's pretend that you're making request. Um, and but you're making request to different people. Okay, so we have three different people. One is ototo or imoto. Two is classmate. Classmate. And last one is sensei. Okay, so let's start with classmate. Classmate. So if you wanna ask, uh, please study please study we 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 know how to say it with the uh, kudasai benkyo shite kudasai but if you want to use the expression we just learned we we say uh, benkyo shite kuremasen ka benkyo shite kuremasen ka uh, but if you use with if you ask the same question to ototo we say benkyo shite kurenai uh, if you're asking someone to higher to the higher status, uh, let's say um, uh, your parents, you say "勉強して いただけませんか?" "勉強して Okay. So let's start with classmate. How do you say this? Let's write it. So Toto is Kurenai. Classmate is Kuremasenka. Sensei is Itadakemasenka. So if you're asking classmate to do this, you say Nete,くれませんか? Uh, if you're asking to ototo or imoto, nete,くれない? And if it's sensei, you say, nete,いただけませんか? How about this one? So let's start with ototo now. How do you ask this? Yonde,くれない? Yonde kurenai. If it's classmate, yonde kuremasen ka? If it's teacher, yonde itadakemasen ka? Okay, very simple and straightforward. Um, okay, uh, I want to talk a little bit more about the about the expressions, the politeness. Um, so the the examples we just used, uh, um, itadaku, itadakemasen ka? And kureru, kuremasen ka? Is, uh, are also part of the verbs of giving and receiving. And, uh, and then just uh, one part of it, okay? So we just covered Itadaku, which became Itadakemasen ka? And as we discussed, this is the expression from the speaker to social superior. Okay. Uh, kuremasen ka? Is kureru? And that's also the expression. Uh, remember, kureru uh, is uh, the verb to give. So the object is recipient. And the subject is giver. So it's a speaker to someone at the equal status. Okay. And same way. Kureru, uh, um, it can be also used to someone with lower status. Okay. So we, we sort of use the kurenai 
as an example. Okay. So we haven't covered other expressions such as morau. So you could have used morau. Moraemasen ka? Which is the used to equal status. So in a way, moraemasen ka and kuremasen ka are the same. Remember, this is the verb to give and to receive. And then the only difference is uh, what the subject indicates, right? The subject is giver, sometimes subject the recipient. So these two expressions means exactly the same meaning. So kuremasen ka? Shashin wo totte kuremasen ka? Shashin wo totte moraemasen ka? Means exactly the same. Mean exactly the same. Okay, so we, we could also use sashiageru. Uh, so this is kind of special kind of request because uh, usually if you make request, uh, you're asking a favor for yourself. But sometimes you could say, um, um, I'll do a favor for you, please. So please let me do it. So uh, you could say, um, Hon wo yonde sashiagemasu. Hon wo yonde sashiagemasu. Sashiagemashoka or Agemashoka Yarimashoka. So it's like sounds like uh, let me let me read a book for you. Like please allow me uh, to read a book for you. Uh, there are three expressions for, for that. Sashiagemashoka, agemashoka, yarimashoka. And again, these expressions both mean please, please let me do it, but used to the different people at the different status. Okay. Um, so this is uh, the brief um, summary of ageru and sashiageru. Um, so if it's higher status, sashiageru, equal status is ageru, lower status is yaru, and then the same thing happens even if the subject is not yourself, uh, someone from the equal status talk to superior, we use sashiageru, the same expression here, and if it's superior to Equal, we use yaru, which is the same expression as here. And kudasaru, kureru, um, is uh, if it's a superior to lower, it's kudasaru. If it's equal to or equal from, from it's, it's, if it's from equal or inferior, uh, it's kureru. And the last one is uh, morau. And if it's uh, from superior to lower, that's itadaku. Since the alloy is coming from the top to down. If it's from equal to higher, that's morau. The alloy goes up. Um, so this is a quick summary about the different brightness expressions. Expressions uh, for the purpose of the Japanese 104, you don't need to know all of them. I just want to give you the whole picture. All you have to know are uh, is uh, these three expressions: te uh, itadakemasen ka, te kuremasen ka, te kurenai. But you have to keep in mind that this is just part of the expressions that the uh, uh, that people use in Japanese to indicate the different politeness. Okay, so I'm gonna pause the uh, the exercise you should do uh, in the comment box. Um,
And if you have questions,、uh, you can ask、uh, your teacher or you can email me.